coronavirus. My ass. This is America. You don't get to come here and kill our people. We're gonna defeat your ass. And all this fake news, leave the president alone. He's got a hell of a job to do. We don't need your bullshit, lies, picking on him. Let him do his job. He's got the good people and he knows what he's doing. And I'm 72 years old. I'm not worried. I do five miles a day. My immune system is good. It's you people running around, you children who think you're adults, partying, drinking, getting together, passing it on to mom and dad, killing grandma and grandpa. You're the people who need to quit your stupidness. And another thing, yeah, this ain't good. You got a lockdown, stay home. Do what you gotta do. And we'll get through this, no problem. No worse than the flu, you'll see. Everybody's starting to panic because the media wants a panic. The media wants attention. Pay attention to us, screw them. And I can't wait to reelect Donald Trump. Okay, now here's one good thing that's coming out of this. Like they say, you know, this is a terrible thing, coronavirus. But with the bad, there's always some good. And you know what I see? I see mama staying home to raise her children. You know what, mama? And you women out there who want careers, that's great. That's great. You want to be like a man and have a career? And, and, and be the breadwinner and go buy more clothes and fancy cars and, you know, make yourself feel good. But you know what? When you decided to have a baby, you signed a contract to God that you were gonna stay home and raise that baby. You know why long that contract is for? At least 10 years, my God, the tender years. You know, I grew up to be a half decent person. I'm a Vietnam veteran. I volunteered to fight and die for my country. I could come to your house, sleep in your house. You wouldn't have to worry about me stealing from you, hurting you. I'm a good person. I'm what's called probably an average good American who fought for his country. And you know why? Mama stayed home and raised me. Mama taught me right from wrong. Mama brought me to church. All you people crying and moaning, you women. Oh, I gotta stay home with the kids or go stick them in a freaking nursery. Really? They're gonna resent you later, trust me. Like I said, you wanted to have a baby? That's a contract. Stick to your contract. Raise the child through the years, his productive or her productive years, so they can see mama. Put mama on a pedestal and want to be good for mama their whole life. That's how you have good children, good people, and a good society. And you know what, America? Screw this virus. And yeah, hello, it's called Chinese virus. Who gives a shit? Like they say, it's Chinese food. That type of food comes from China. Guess what? This type of disease came from China. What's wrong with calling it the Chinese virus? Or whatever you want to call it. The Chinese take offense to that, tough shit. They shouldn't have never let this get so bad. This has been around for years probably. They've been hiding it from everybody. Now the whole world has it. You feel sorry for them? You hurt their feelings calling it the Chinese virus? Seriously? Anyway, goodbye. Good luck, we'll all be fine. You know why? Like I said, this is America. And if you've been out of America and these other countries, you know and you would respect and love this country and this flag. God bless America and God bless Donald Trump.